In the year 2000, a ferocious animal appeared in our regions, the Baslandwolf. wolf. The story of this raging predator is hot news at that time. But is it true or is it the human mind taking on a collective frenzy? Once upon a time, there was a big bad wolf in Flanders. It sounds like the beginning of a fairy tale, except this is no fairy tale. Mostly people don't believe the boy who cried out wolf. But again, it may be healthy to believe me when I cry out wolf. Or am I pulling your leg again? We'll see about that. This peculiar story takes us back in Flanders more recent history. In the year 2000, strange things started to happen in the land of Waas. Some farmers found their sheep and chickens dead in the morning. Apparently they had been bitten to death in the still of the night. Was it a fox? Was it a mad dog? Let's go to the expert. Let me first point out that this is still an ongoing investigation. But traces gathered at the crime scene seem to suggest that the perpetrator might be an animal of the canine family. Possibly a wolf. So, within a few months, everybody cried wolf. This wolf was spotted everywhere, at the same time, and even in places a wolf would have a hard time getting. The police stated they would shoot this animal that was by now called the Waasland wolf. Animal activists cried out, no! But then an anonymous claim reached the press stating this animal had been killed. And although there was never any proof given, still, the animal has never been seen again. Was there a wolf? With just a few vague images as proof, it will always remain a mystery, giving rise to all kinds of stories and explanations. Although this story may seem a peculiar mystery, there are some interesting elements in it. Mankind has always had a fascination with wolves. He is at the origin or birth of things, like for instance, the wolf who nourished Remus and Romulus, the founder of Rome. But of course, the wolf has also a negative symbolic meaning. Like with the Vikings, the wolf Fenrir is the beast that will bring on the destruction of the earth and civilization as we know it, Ragnarok. And in Indian legends and mythology, the wolf is the bringer of the night, evil, darkness, which of course brings us to werewolves. Could it be that the panic surrounding the Wasland wolf reflects the very ancient superstitions about werewolves? Well, werewolves as shapeshifters have a powerful grip on human imagination. They can be man or wolf, but not at the same time. And this inconsistency of form or shape is to us humans pretty scary. This might explain the frenzy in press and public opinion about it, but it doesn't prove what really happened. The Wasland wolf wasn't the first predator to roam around here and to pull the people of Flanders' leg. There is the medieval tale of Reinhard de Vos, the fox. He was a trickster who played various tricks on other animals and people. Maybe the trickster is at it again.